Now, because the river was just up the street, a lot of the booze came in from Canada. So what they were able to do is dig a tunnel under the ground from the property all the way to the river. And it was very common for these houses to have tunnels going to the neighbor's house or even a few houses down the block because they were all connected in one way or the other. Now, if you know the area, then you know that it stretched along the entire east side to downtown, down river, all the way to the west side. Some people are asking, why would they need all these tunnels just for smuggling booze? Well, let's not let the booze fool you. The booze was only brought in around the 1920s. These tunnels were here before then. Those tunnels actually lead to a whole nother city underneath the city. And that's where we're going to next. But before we get there, make sure you follow and like this video. And hold on to your seats because it's gonna be a wild ride. 